Job hunting for a software engineer in 2025 has gotten insane. I'm gonna share with you five coding exercises that I've had to do for jobs this year. I had to build a pizza dispatch center which would send out deliveries for pizzas to, in the quickest way possible all around a city in the most efficient way possible. Also have it fully tested and expand up to multiple locations. I had to do that within five hours. And then I had three more interviews for that job just to find out that they end up pulling the job. Another job, I had to make a Mars rover game where I had to create a Cartesian plane where Mars rovers could go around and you can give instructions to each Mars rover. You had to introduce a collision detection, be able to switch between rovers. I had to do that in two hours and then had five more interviews after that, which led to no offer either. A third job I interviewed for, I had to build a freelance photography system such that 10, up to 10,000 photographers could use the system and freelance photos that they could ha take for certain products and have the company approve or deny the, the, the process. I had to do this in one hour. And after that, three more hour-long interviews just to result in no offer. Another job I interviewed for, I had to create a card trading system. You could trade and purchase playing cards in a make-believe marketplace, not with money, but precious gems that are different colors, and you could purchase certain amounts and buy variety packs. I had to do that within one hour, have it fully tested, and expand upon the program in the future. I then had two more hour-long interviews after that, and they ended up giving the job to an internal candidate. In the last example this year, I interviewed for a job where they had me build a four-stage rocket launch sequence program where each stage would have a failure rate that they would sometimes blow up the rocket and you would have to then restart the program, try the launch again, record the amount of fuel that you spent, and determine success whether or not it reached escape velocity. That was a seven-hour coding project. I then had four more uh, 60 or 90 minute interviews after that over the span of three months and didn't get the offer either. So I've been interviewing and working in software for 16 years now and this is by far the craziest and hardest job market that I've ever been in. Good luck to anyone who's still interviewing out there but keep it up because this is exhausting.